This instructional video is designed to show you how to use a partition function and a corresponding formula to get an expression for a particular thermodynamic quantity. In this case, we'll be using the partition function for the monatomic ideal gas and the instructions on how to use it to get an expression for average energy to get an actual formula for that. And so the partition function, big Q, relies on the number of particles, the volume, and a temperature term, and that's expressed in terms of little q, the individual particle partition function. In this case, because it is a monatomic ideal gas, we have this formula here. So, step one, recognizing that partition function, we've got that, a formula, we've got that, will yield an answer. We have to do what I like to call pre-work. Because the derivative is of ln of big Q, uh, for the pre-work, what we want to do is figure out a better way of writing out ln of Q. Now we can use the rules of natural logs to decompose this expression into n ln of little q minus ln of n factorial. Next we want to make a substitution for little q. So I'm going to write that out over here. So we will just substitute directly 2 pi m over h squared beta to the 3 halves times v. That is all inside of that minus ln n factorial. At this point, we want to be a little bit clever in recognizing what exactly it is we need. Since this is a partial with respect to beta, this becomes the only thing that's going to survive taking that partial. So we want to really separate this entire expression into the terms that use beta and all of the terms that do not. So then what we have for ln of q is minus 3 halves n ln of beta and then all that other stuff. The reason I can lump all that together is because we're taking a derivative with respect to beta holding n and v constant so all those other terms are just going to go away anyway. So once we have this we can actually just take the derivative and when we take the derivative all of this goes away, and we're going to have that uh, partial ln q partial beta will be equal to minus 3 halves n times 1 over beta. And so now that we have partial ln q partial beta, we can complete using this formula by putting a minus sign in front. So what we'll have then is that the energy is 3 halves n for the number of particles in the system times 1 over beta. Now, as it turns out, beta itself can be replaced with a 1 over kT. And we have something that may be a more familiar result because if we have 3 halves n kT, n times k will give us the gas constant. So this then becomes the final answer, and it's something that may be a bit more familiar from formulas for the ideal gas. So this shows us how we can take a partition function and a formula with some clever application of calculus thinking to get an answer. 